come and change my destiny my destiny today destiny changer miracle walker come and change my destiny my destiny today destiny changer a miracle worker come and change my destiny my destiny today a destiny changer miracle worker come and change my destiny, my destiny today is a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. He's an Alpha and Omega. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle walking God. He's a miracle walking God. He's an Alpha and Omega. He's a miracle walking God. He's a miracle walking God. He's a miracle walking God. He's an Alpha. And Omega, he's a miracle-walking God. Father, I thank you and I give you praise, for you are a miracle walker. I thank you for your word in Psalm 3, verse 3, which says, But thou, O Lord, are a shield for me, my glory, and a lifter up of my head. My Lord and my God, my Father, my fighter. I say good morning and I say thank you for lifting up my head this morning. Thank you for your glory that is all around me. Father, I say thank you because I know that you will not allow the head of the enemies to be lifted above us. You will not allow the head and the power of the enemy to be lifted over this ministry. Father, I thank you you because you will not allow the head of your children who have joined online and who have been joining faithfully to go down in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that your glory go before us this day. Father, I ask you, Lord, to lift the internet up for our good this morning, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Above all, Lord, I ask that you speak through me, use me, that we may be lifted up, so that we stay empowered to your glory. In Jesus' powerful name, I have prayed. Amen. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I see gift gold. Oh my God. Good morning. Bless you, bless you. I see mercy, Satome. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you all so much. I see the, ooh, the thousands of the L love emojis. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining this morning. I may not be able to read out all your names, but you know that I acknowledge all of you and I appreciate all of you for joining in and you all know that when we are lifted up when you lift another person up the other person stays up we don't go up by pushing others down bless you bless you bless you seeing you all online lifts my soul and my spirit up and it keeps telling me that this ministry is going up and cannot go down because all of you are out there I love you. Let's dive quickly into, you know, the treasure box, you know, from God this morning. I am reading, as usual, from the King James Version of the Bible. And I read from the book of Song of Solomon. Song of Solomon, chapter 4, verse 16. I read, it says, I wake, O not wind, and come, thou south. Blow upon my garden, that the spices thereof may flow out. Let my beloved come into his garden and eat his pleasant fruits. Whew, that is the only scripture we shall be reading this morning. 
of course just like you all know the word of god have a thousand billion interpretation but the one that the lord has given me today has to do with evil smell be diffused evil smell be diffused now what are we talking about here and what is the lord trying to let us know I'm sure most of you know sometimes when you go to um, what do you call it the convenience and it is all messed up you find that uh, it has a foul smell a foul odor that repels you and makes you not to want to use it right good when you go to such places that um, where a lot of human beings who have probably not used what you call the roll-on you know antiperspirant and and a whole lot of them sorry to say this but it happens a whole lot you know in the abode of young men you know maybe lots of them sleep in the room or sometimes even just one guy sleeps in the room and most often he has not washed his bed sheets and beddings and his clothes uh, you know often and you find that the room has a foul odor you know there's a condensation condensation of perspiration that turns you off that most often people like me who can't stand smell you find that you are repulsed and your stomach wants to begin to turn it also happens to ladies unfortunately who may wear their inner wears so often without you know washing it am i talking to someone it also happens in the house of people where you see they have young children and the woman especially i am especially talking to the woman but i will also talk to the man as well and who do not realize that they should have what they call tarpaulin coverings on their mattresses you know to prevent the urine that the children will you know give out not to soak into the mattress and uh, unfortunately when they don't have this covering you find that the room have very offensive stench so when you go to such houses you're like oh you feel like puking am i talking to someone so these are what you call offensive smell evil smell and uh, i always tell mothers one of the things you should do is get a covering a plastic a tarpaulin covering get to the tailors let them sew it get the measurement of your mattress and have it sewn so that you can wear it on top of the mattress so that even when your children pee or wee on the bed you know it does not soak the mattress and you can just wash the bed sheet and the room will still be smelling fresh am i talking to someone so when we talk about evil smell be diffused just like we have read in the bible which says awake oh not wing come thou south blow upon my garden that the spices thereof may flow out that the spices thereof may flow out you find also that when you are cooking i love cooking i love cleaning when you're cooking and and you're making one of those very very aromatic stews or soups and um like in nigeria where i am from uh but i'm born and bred in lagos uh the Igbos also have what you call ogiri uh, is a local spice that has this very aromatic, you know, flavor. The Yorubas have what you call iuru, uh, and in uh, in the Yoruba land where I live and where I'm born, which is Lagos State, you find that when we put iuru in our stews, especially when we're doing what you call the hot pepper stew, it gives it a very aromatic, you know, flavor in that that that. You know goes about the whole place that your neighbors will be saying oh my god who is cooking this wonderful stew and, and and soup that is causing everyone to want to feel like eating or come to your home because i know lots of time when i cook my neighbors you know especially where i used to live before uh, they will come to me and say huh a person you carry this thing you're cooking today, if you don't give me it, this house will not enter us because the aroma is so inviting. So when the Bible tells us here, it says, let the spices flow out. Let my beloved.
love it. Come. <laughs> ah, come into his garden and eat the pleasant fruit, his pleasant fruit. So when you see lovely aroma flows out of a house or from food, when you perceive it, you want to swallow, guzzle the food, am I talking? Now, when it concerns a human being, just like I've taken time to explain about, you know, foul, evil smell around people, especially with young men who don't wash their beddings or with women who allow their children to pee on the mattresses or people who don't use roll on or women who just, you know, keep repeating, you know, uh, the, the, the wear of their underwears without washing them constantly especially when it comes to dark colored or black or brown underwears and they assume that dirt is not being seen on it but when you put it to your nose you find that it has a repulsive smell uh, yes that's what they call an evil smell so this smell you find that when people come close to such people they find them you know closing their nostrils you know and say mm, this person uh, has an evil or foul odor now, this order that we smell in the physical also happens in the spiritual. Am I talking to someone? And this foul order that we perceive in the physical also happens in the spiritual. That's why sometimes there are people that you, you know, come or have an encounter with and you find that you just don't like them. You will see them coming and something about them is repulsive. You see them and something about them, you know, makes you cringe. You will see them and something about them turns you off. You will see them and something about them repulses you and you just don't want to have anything to do with them because they have a foul way of talking, because they have a foul way of, of you know, giving out ideas. They have a foul way of, of communicating they have a foul way of laying their complaints. They have a foul way of, of, of telling you about their desires and you find that you are repulsed. So when you have these things all attributed to you, it is said to be evil smell. Aha. Am I talking to someone? So this evil smell also causes a whole lot of people not to be favored when it concerns their career. Like in the acting career where the Lord has placed me close to 24 years now, you find that there are some people, some producers do not want to work with. Because why? They have an evil, foul smell around them. There are some people you find also, they may be so talented, they may be so gifted, oh yeah, but you know, because they have a foul smell around them, nobody wants to employ them. Because they have a foul smell around them, nobody wants to be around them. No matter how gifted they are, nobody wants to call them for productions. Yes, they may be so gifted, they may be so beautiful, swell, handsomely, you know, six-packed, all well, you know, you know, gorgeously belt up and with, you know, the figure eight and everything in terms of the woman and the six-pack in terms of the man and nobody wants to have anything to do with them because there is an evil smell around them. Yes, they, they may all look so handsome, they may look so beautiful, well, you know, carved by nature, by God, but there's something that repels people from them. There's something that stops them from not being employed. It also concerns those who are doing business, those who are having things that they are selling. You find that people, instead of coming to your own shop, coming to your own office, they rather go to the other place where it is in a slum because they prefer the attitude and the character or the smell of that person. Am I talking to someone this morning? So you find that, yes, your shop may be in the place that is called the bourgeois, where they have and do their business, but nobody wants to do business with you because you have a foul smell, a spiritual foul smell that repels people. Yes, you may have beautiful cars, but nobody wants to ride with you. Am I talking to someone? So this morning, ladies and gentlemen, we need to pray so that evil smell around us, around our character, around our business, around our career, around our ministry will have to be diffused. Oh yes, there are some people, they may be gifted, they are gifted preachers, oh my God. They have um, been preaching for more than 35 years. People will come to their church and before you know it, people will dissipate. There is a foul 
foul and evil smell around them. Oh yes, people may just love them, call them for meeting, but sometimes people stop calling them for meetings because there is a foul smell around them. Ladies and gentlemen, join me this morning and say, my father, my fighter. Come on, open your mouth and pray like a wounded lion. Say, my father, my fighter. Every evil smell around me, cause men to be repulsed when they come in contact with me. What are you waiting for? Be diffused now in Jesus' powerful name. Open your mouth and pray that prayer like a wounded lion. Say, my father, my fighter. Every foul smell causing my customers to leave my shop and go to another person. What are you waiting for? Be diffused. Be diffused in Jesus' powerful name. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus was speaking in the book of John chapter 20 verse 22. He said, and when he said to them this, he breathed upon them and said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. <laughs> so receive ye the Holy Ghost. Remember also what the Bible says in the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 7. It says, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils. And man became a living soul. <laughs> when God breathed into man, Man became a living soul. Join me this morning and say, my father, my fighter, breathe upon me. Let me receive your Holy Ghost and let your breath of life flush out every evil smell that is causing me not to find favor. Causing me not to find favor in my career, in my business, in my ministry. Open your mouth. Pray that prayer. Say, my father, my fighter, every evil smell that is around my church, causing my members to leave and go to another church. What are you waiting for? Be diffused by the Holy Ghost breath. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Say, my father, my fighter, every evil smell that is causing my children not to find favor, among their schoolmates, among their teachers, what are you waiting for? Dissipate, be diffused in Jesus' powerful name. Say, my father, my fighter, every evil smell, evil smell that is causing men and women to reject me, to reject me when they want to look for those that are to be favored. My father, my fighter, Wash that evil smell out of my life with your breath. Now, in Jesus' powerful name, join me and say, my father, my fighter, let me receive the Holy Ghost. Let me receive the breath of life. Let me receive the breath of favor, the breath of attraction. Just like your word says in the book of Song of Solomon, Chapter 4, verse 16. Say, awake, O not wind. Awake, thou shalt blow upon me. Let the spices thereof flow out and let my beloved come and eat his pleasant fruit. Pleasant fruit. Say, my father, my father, let the good smell that now that inhabits me, let it flow out and cause me to be favored. Let it flow out and let all those that should employ me, let them smell the beautiful aroma around me and employ me. Say, my father, my fighter, let a good smell flow out of me so that my customers will be attracted to my shop. Am I talking to someone? Ladies and gentlemen, Saints of God, beloved ones, you know that when you spray this lovely perfume, because I love perfumes, when you spray these very exotic perfumes, you find that when you pass people, you find them say, oh my God, that perfume you have on you makes me feel like eating you, makes me feel like hugging you, make me feel like staying around you. I'm sure someone is a witness this morning. So that is a same way. When you have a good smell around you, People want to hug you. People want to stay around you. Open your 
your mouth and say, my father, my fighter, let a beautiful smell, the smell of attraction, the smell of beauty, the smell of favor, let it flow out of me. Let it attract those that should employ me in my career. Let it attract those that should come and patronize my business. Let it attract those that shall fill my church auditorium. Open your mouth and say, my father, my fighter, let the evil smell around me, inside me, that has been put in me. Let it be diffused. Ladies and gentlemen, in case you do not know, when you check the dictionary, the Bible records, <laughs> it records, it says there is a cosmic evil force. That's a definition of evil. And it also says <laughs> that evil can be said to be what they call the definition of something. Something that brings sorrow, distress, or calamity. Am I talking to someone? Just like you say that she has drank an evil poison, or she has an evil omen around her, or he woke up with an evil mind this morning. So you see, when we talk about the evil, when we talk about smell, you could just use an example in the now and say she smells a rat or he smells a rat, which means having a suspicion of something that is not good <laughs> something that is wrong so when you have an evil smell around you it means that people are suspicious that you do not have a good character a good behavior so join me one more time I say my father my fighter every evil smell that has been spread upon me ha, by the cosmic force, by the enemies of my destiny. What are you waiting for? Be diffused by the breath of God this morning. Be diffused because your enemies can spray. Ha, they can spray evil scent or aroma upon you. They can spray evil perfume upon you. And then you'll be going about, you think you have sprayed, you know, a very expensive perfume. You think you are beautiful. You think you are handsome. But whenever you get in contact with people, people are like, hmm, spiritually I'm talking. And they will want to stay away from you. So join me this morning and say, my father, my fighter, every evil smell, every evil perfume, that the enemy has spread upon my destiny, upon my career, upon my life, upon my health, upon my ministry, upon my church, upon my business, upon my projects, upon my family, upon my husband, upon my wife, upon my children, upon my community. What are you waiting for? Be diffused in Jesus' powerful name. Amen and amen. Stretch your hands if you can. Let me prophesy over your life. Remember what the word of God says in the book of Acts. Chapter 1, verse 8. <laughs> it says, And ye shall, be, ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me. Both in Jerusalem, and to Judea and in Samaria and to the utmost parts of the earth. I pray for you and I prophesy over your life that is watching online this morning. Let the Holy Ghost come upon you and from today you will do exploit not only in Jerusalem, Judea or Samaria but unto the utmost parts of the earth. You will do exploit not only in Lagos, not only in all the states of Nigeria. You will do exploit even in all the cities of the country where you are watching from, upon the face of the earth. And from henceforth, those who come in contact with you, they will not resist you. They have no option than to fall in love with you and to do business with you because the Holy Ghost has spread upon you the perfume of favor. Receive this in Jesus' powerful name. Amen and amen. Ladies and gentlemen, 
The Bible tells me in the book of Romans 10, 9. It said that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth that the Jesus, that Jesus, <laughs> and shall believe in your heart that the Lord hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth, that the Lord had raised Jesus from the dead, thou shalt be saved. If you have not given your life to God, you will never understand the mysteries of the kingdom. You will never understand the mysteries of the gospel. If you have not given your life to God, you will constantly be emitting foul odor. Join me and say, my father, my fighter, my Lord Jesus, I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that you died for my sin and you came that I may be saved. Today, let your blood that you shed on the cross of Calvary, let it wash me and make me clean. This I pray. In Jesus' powerful name, amen. And also, even though you may be born again, we need to constantly, like I've always said all the time on this platform, in this ministry, always rededicate your life to God. So say after me, my Lord and my God, my Father, my fighter, I rededicate my life to you this morning. And I say, Jesus, I acknowledge you as my Lord and Master. Continue to wash me afresh from henceforth with your blood so that I don't walk amiss, so that I remain rapturable. This I pray in Jesus' powerful name. Let us also remember our loved ones who have not given their lives to God. Say, my father, my fighter. I remember my loved ones, my brothers and sisters. My mother, my father, my uncle, my auntie. My grandma. My distant relations. Who have not given their lives to God. Lord Jesus. I know there's no distance in the spirit. Holy Spirit. Breathe upon them now. And let your Holy Spirit fill them. And let them become born again. And continue to stay in your will. In Jesus' powerful name, I have prayed. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer for yourself, you have rededicated your life to God, and you have prayed for your loved ones so they can receive the Holy Ghost and be born again, I clap for you. And above all, I can tell you, heaven is blowing the trumpets. On your behalf, the drums are beating all for your sake because you have given your life to God and because you have rededicated your life to God and because you have prayed for your family. Heaven, heaven has laid the red carpet in celebration because you acknowledge the Lord Jesus and you're not ashamed of him. Ladies and gentlemen, Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me, follow you, all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. I love you, but you know that Jesus loves you so much more. Shalom. Until next week, Monday, by the mercies of God, by the grace of God, by the favor of God, by the love of God, I hope to see you for us to have a date with destiny. Once again, I remain your humble servant, Apostle Eukarya Anunobi. Tell a friend to tell a friend to join in on this online morning prayer conference every Monday morning. 6 a.m. to 6.30 p.m.
Nigerian time. Until then, I love you. Destiny changer, miracle worker, come and change my destiny, my destiny today.